First came the winter moths, now prepare for the next invasion. How about caterpillars? They're hatching now and they're about to be everywhere. Eileen Curran live in Boston and Eileen experts say we're going to see a whole lot more than normal. Yeah, you know, Jack, the winter moth population has been exploding, and that is really bad news for trees here because the caterpillars can defoliate a tree almost overnight. There's a caterpillar right there. Oh, he's, my goodness, he's yeah. He's so small. Small but potentially deadly to your trees. The winter moth caterpillar has arrived. See the little holes in the leaves? He's already eating. Last fall, we had an abundance of the winter moth. Just ask Trisha Griffiths of Woburn. It was, they were all over the front of my house to the point where it, it was like a swarm. Those moths died over the winter, but not before laying countless eggs. The larvae hatched about a week ago, and right now they're inside the tree buds chomping away. But experts say you'll really begin to notice them in about a week to two weeks. Once the caterpillar is larger, it will just devour the leaf. The winter moth has no natural predators, so scientists have brought in parasitic flies to combat them. Arborist Mark Bezra is standing by with his fleet of trucks. Once the leaves are all open, he can start spraying trees with a non-toxic bioinsecticide. So you can't control them. Uh, trying to eliminate them is, is nearly impossible, but the idea is not to let them come in and just ravage the trees. Griffiths hopes that's not the fate for her trees. She said she would miss them and the wildlife they bring to her backyard. So often we'll see a whole bunch of little critters come by, so if we lose the coverage, then I don't think we'll be able to see them. Now, for smaller bushes in your yard, you can actually just get one of those handheld sprayers of insecticide. But for larger trees like these, you really might want to get a professional. It'll cost you about two to three hundred dollars per application, and they recommend you do two applications. Jack? I guess locusts are next. All right, Eileen, thank you. Scientists say that we're seeing the winter moth caterpillars earlier this year because of all of the warm weather we've had this month.